This will be example um, four, and it reads the following. It's pretty much the same language. Use traces to sketch. A surface. So to sketch the surface given by the following. In this case, we'll have uh, something like this. Remember that second type of uh, of equation where you have just z, not z squared. It's coming now. So you have z equals 4x squared plus y squared. So the example 3, the previous example was the first type of the general form. Let me bring it back to remind you. So example 3 was uh, the top uh, equation and example 4 is this type. But the, the solution is very similar. Uh, we're going to let um, each variable in turn to equal uh, a constant k and we see what happened. For instance, <coughs> if we let z, uh, we let x equal 0, we have the parabola z equal y squared, right? And if we let x equal a constant k, we still have a parabola z equal y squared plus 4k squared. What 4k squared is just a number. So what happened? The vertex of the parabola is shift up. Instead of sitting at the origin, uh, it's, it's still going to be a parabola that opens up, but shifted upward. So here we go. We're going to let x equals k. And in this case, we have z equals y squared plus 4k squared. Yeah. A parabola with uh, a vertex at zero, um, zero in four K squared, and it opens up or down? Opens up. All right. Likewise, we're going to let y equals k and z equal 4x squared plus k squared, which is the same thing, except that <coughs> we have a vertex or a parabola with a vertex at what would be the coordinate of the vertex? Zero k squared zero opens up, down, sideways. It's still z equals something. So it's vertical. And it still opens up. So you have two parabolas. Okay. Since two of the three traces are parabola, what we have is something that is called parabol parabeloid. Parabeloid. Okay? But we need to have an adjective. The adjective <coughs> will be determined by the third trace. Okay? The third trace happen if we let z equal k. In this case, what do we have? We have not a circle, but 4x squared plus y squared equals k, right? Or we can write it as uh, x squared over 1 plus y squared over 4 equals k over 4. And what is this thing? an ellipse. Right? You can make this equals 1 
Actually, let me let me uh, modify it, okay? Or instead of uh, dividing by uh, by four, I'll divide by k. Okay, so I have four over k. So I'll have x squared divided by k over four, like so, plus y squared over k equals one, which is ellipse or family of ellipses parallel to what plane? To the xy plane. Okay, so we have two traces that are par parabolas and one trace and the horizontal <coughs> is, is an ellipse. We call this creature elliptic paraboloid. Okay? So, and how we graph it or sketch it. Let's, let's uh, Let's attempt to sketch it. Not attempt, let's sketch it. Again, look at the traces and sketch uh, one trace at a time. Okay, let's look at the first case when x equal k. Okay? In particular, you may let k equal zero and you have the parabola z equals y squared. The parabola z equal y squared is this parabola. Okay. So this is z equals y squared when k equals 0. Now let's look at what happened when y equals 0 or k equals 0. Then we have z equal 4x squared. Folks, what is the difference between y equal x squared and y equal 4x squared? It's the, the shape of the parabola, right? y equal 4x squared is a much narrower para parabola than y equal x squared. Same here. z equal uh, 4x squared, where are we? Right there. If k is 0, that would be a much narrower parabola. So uh, this is what's on the zx will have something like that. Okay? So let me mark it right here. This will be the parabola z equals x squared. Now what's left is to deal with the ellipse. The ellipse on a, is on a plane parallel to the xy plane. Of course we're going to put it on top right there. Right? So here's the ellipse. z equals 4x squared, you're right. Thank you, Roberto. And now, here's the parabola. So this is what we call um, elliptic uh, parabolo paraboloid. Okay. The result is a surface called the uh, elliptic you're welcome paraboloid I mispronounce it but I mispronounce every other word anyway uh, now the traces if we go, the traces, here's another ellipse, here's another ellipse, and so on, okay? So you can see how this ellipse is working. Um, let me show you the handout. Actually, let me pass this around. You see that uh, there are six basic uh, quadric, quadric surfaces in a standard form. Your task is to learn these six equations and identify them with the surface. Uh, you just have to study these and memorize. There is no other 
way. But let me let me uh, give you something that will help you to at least memorize the name. Here's the ellipsoid. All traces are ellipses, so there is no brainer here. This is what we just did, okay, with a z over a constant equal something like that. The horizontal traces are ellipse, vertical traces are par parabolas. Since you have parabolas in, in, the, in the both, two traces, two families of traces are parabolas, the name will be parabo par paraboloid. And, and the third surface is ellipse, that will generate, that will create, give it the adjective elliptic, okay? So the dominant uh, trace is uh, the parabola. That's why it's paraboloid. Go down and you can see from this one that the dominant shape is also a parabola, parabola, I'm sorry. Um, if x equals zero, we have the parabola z equals negative y squared. If y equals zero, we have the parabola z equals something in x squared. So this is another paraboloid. But if z equals zero, you have the hyperbola. So the adjective will be hyperbolic paraboloid. Okay, you see the rationale behind the naming? You see the logic behind the naming? Good, and you see also how you trace that. Uh, by letting each variable equal zero at a time. Uh, when you look at the next one, you see the cone. The traces are, the horizontal traces are ellipse. Vertical uh, traces are line z equal k and y equal k. Actually, the vertical lines are hyperbolas. But, are, but when k is not equal zero, then we have pair of lines. So we end up having a cone here. Um, it's a double pane cone. Okay, that's what we, we call it, double pane, P-A-N-E, cone. Uh, here's hyperboloid of one, sh uh, one sheet. So you can say, you can tell that the dominant trace will be the hyperbola, so, or the hyperbola. And indeed, if you let um, x equal zero, you have an hyperbola. If you have uh, y equal zero, you have an hyperbola. The only time you don't have one, if we let z equal zero, and then you have an ellipse, okay? So the horizontal traces are ellipses, the vertical are hyperbolas. And another type of hyperboloid uh, in two sh is uh, the hyperboloid of two sheets. This is another elliptic hyperboloid but uh, they are not connected, so you need to have two sheets. And, and the last thing, if you allow me, I, don't, I know that time is up. Let me show you something in Mathematica.